Hi, I'm Stephen Banks. Um, you've spoken about the importance of protecting those rights guaranteed to us in virtue of where we are born, but what is the role of philanthropists and activists in protecting the rights of those beyond our borders? Well, I think the role of any of us, philanthropists or not, in protecting rights beyond our borders is nearly the same. Of course, philanthropists are different. They have resources they can give, but you and I, uh, who may not have these resources, have an equal opportunity to do what we can. If we know that some people are being mistreated far from our shores and treated badly, and there's something, anything at all, that we can do about it, whether it means giving money to some organization that's helping them or doing something to take these people from where they are and give them, put them in a safe, safe place, I think it's our obligation to do it. So whether it d involves going in our pockets and pulling out some money and saying, here, this will help you out, or whether you and I say, let's go there and do something to help them, I think we owe a responsibility to do them and we ought to do it. If we don't do it, we're not worthy of being the kinds of people we like to think we are. Do you think that we're doing more today than at a previous time to be responsive to the needs of the, of, of the many? I think we're doing more to be responsible of the, new, of the needs of the medi needy, I'm sorry, far away from us than we were in my time. Uh, perhaps in some senses to the detriment of those people who are right here in our own backyards. Uh, for some reason, I think Americans have a fascination with people who are far away from them, greater than the fascination they ought to have with people who are right around the corner. But having said that, um, I think there's greater emphasis now on helping people worldwide than there was when I was the age of these students. And um, I, I can't say that's a bad thing. 